What is friction? Friction is the opposing force acting on an object which is moving or tends to move. The main reason behind friction are the irregularities on the surfaces of the objects. We shall study in detail about the reason behind friction. To find the magnitude of frictional force acting, we require the values of coefficient of friction and the reaction force. We will also study about coefficient of friction in below sections of this article. What is coefficient of friction? Coefficient of friction is the property of surface which tells us how rough the surface is. Greater the coefficient of friction greater will be the roughness of surface. The magnitude of coefficient of friction is given as the ratio between frictional force to the normal reaction force acting on the object. Simply put, F equals U dot R where U is the coefficient of friction, F is the frictional force and R is the normal reaction force acting on the object. What are types of friction? Friction is classified into two types. The classification is done on the basis of whether the object is moving or stationary. The two types of friction are listed in the section given below. Static friction? This is a type of friction which acts on an object that is stationary. When the object is subjected to force in order to move the object, the static friction comes into play. The static friction opposes the external force so that the object does not move. If the object wants to move, the external force should exceed the amount of static frictional force acting on the object. Kinetic friction? Kinetic friction is the type of friction which acts on a moving object. This is the friction which is responsible for reducing the speed of object and making it come to rest if the external force applied on it is lifted up. How to find coefficient of friction on an inclined plane? We have discussed in above sections how to find coefficient of friction on a flat plane. We do not need to resolve any type of forces as the only present are horizontal and vertical. Now we shall discuss about how to find coefficient of friction on an inclined plane. The steps to find coefficient of friction is given below. First we resolve all the forces and find the horizontal and vertical components of these forces. The weight of the body is balanced by the reaction force that is resolved into two components. Let the inclined surface make an angle theta with the horizontal force, the vertical component of the weight will be in cos theta. This is equal to the normal reaction force. The frictional force is also resolved into two components. The horizontal force will have a magnitude equal to m sin theta. Coefficient of friction is equal to the ratio of frictional force to normal reaction force, that means the value of coefficient of friction will be equal to tan theta. How to reduce friction? Friction is desirable in many ways and also creates a nuisance in many ways. At places where we don't need to require friction or want to minimize the intensity of friction, we can take some necessary steps. They are given below. Lubrication? Applying lubricants on the surface will reduce the amount of friction taking place. This so happens because the molecules of lubricants will sit inside the irregularities as a result these irregularities get filled. Thus when another surface rubs against the surface, the amount of friction taking place is lesser. Surface finish? Surface finish can be improved by finishing processes like buffing and grinding. During this process, the irregularities are reduced by making the surface more flat. The valleys of irregularities are made flat, as a result of which the surface becomes more fine and the amount of friction taking place reduces. Powder? Fine powder molecules sit in the valleys of irregularities. This makes the surface more flat. Due to this flatness, the locking between the irregularities become less and as a result, friction reduces. An example of applying fine powder to reduce friction can be seen in the game of carom where talcumutter is sprinkled on the surface of carom board to reduce friction between the surface and the striker. Polishing? Polishing can also be said to be a type of surface finishing technique. Polishes will make the surface finer and less rough. The surface will become more slippery and hence the amount of friction taking place will be lesser. Painting? Painting on the surface with oil paints will increase the lubrication and help reducing the surface roughness, 
due to less surface roughness the amount of friction taking place will be lesser. Cleaning? Sometimes the friction can be caused due to impurities stuck on the surface, these impurities contribute to friction. Cleaning the surfaces will decrease the chances of impurities sticking on the surface and thereby reducing the amount of friction taking place. Rolling surfaces? It is a fact that rolling friction is lesser than the friction taking on flat surface. If we increase the number of round surfaces slash edges then the amount of friction taking place will be less. This can be observed in wheels. If we slide a box without wheels then we get exhausted after some time because it gets difficult after a while. When we put wheels under the box, it gets easier for us to move the box from one place to another. This is because the rolling friction is lesser than the friction taking place on plane surfaces. Please visit our website lambdageeks.com for more articles on technology, engineering, mathematics, and various other domains. scientific calculator and many more other tools.